Canyonlands National Park is a unique desert environment stretching over 527 square miles just outside of Moab, Utah. This park is home to endless miles of canyons, buttes, sheer cliffs, and otherworldly scenery carved out by the Green and Colorado Rivers. This park is divided into four separate districts, including the rivers themselves, Island in the Sky, which is what we will visit in today's travel adventure, the Needles District, which features towering rock spires as well as arches, and lastly, the Maze, which is a remote region of the park regarded as the most challenging district. The Island in the Sky District is the most accessible portion of Canyonlands. It features expansive views from several overlooks, a scenic drive, and several hikes with varying levels of difficulty. You will probably recognize the famous Mesa Arch from photos. It is the most visited natural feature of the Island in the Sky District. In today's Utah travel adventure, we will uncover the beauty that lies within these vast canyons. Welcome to Canyonlands National Park, stop number two for today. Alright guys, so our first stop in Canyonlands National Park is going to be the famous Mesa Arch. I'm super excited to see this one. This is one of the busiest trails in the park too. Our first stop for today's adventure is Mesa Arch Hike, which is only 0.6 miles round trip with only 56 feet of elevation gain. Perched at the edge of the Mesa Top, this 27 foot long arch frames views of the canyon far below as well as the LaSalle Mountains in the distance. The loop hike has slightly more elevation change at the beginning if you travel counterclockwise. To reduce the number of stairs, walk clockwise to the arch and then retrace your steps back to the beginning. Oh wow, look at those beautiful mountains in the background. This is nice. Me too. Oh wow, there it is. There it is. Oh my God, Mesa Arch. Oh, this is a nice trail. It's beautiful too because you got the color contrast of the green, the desert, cacti, the mesas, canyons, everything. There it is, guys. Mesa Arch. Probably the most popular place within Canyonlands. Super popular during sunrise. But so far it's been an action packed day. Dead Horse Point as well as Canyonlands. We're going to try to see as much as we can here.
this is just spectacular. What do you think? It's amazing. Amazing. Next stop, Grand View Points. Oops. Oh wow. Look at that. It's like almost like hoodoo formations down below. Jeez. Amazing how they put these steps over here. Well, that's like the perfect viewpoint. the edge guys Park so far. Oh, it's amazing! It's beautiful. Not too many people here. Easy to get around. It is. Well maintained. Wow. It's breathtaking. Alright, so this is the furthest south we can travel in the Islands in the Sky District. So we're going to work our way back and make various stops along the way. Next stop in Islands in the Sky District is the Buck Canyon Overlook. This one has beautiful views of the snow top mountains.
right guys, next stop in the park, Upheaval Dome. Here we go. So we're right here. There's two overlooks that we're gonna see here. Really cool. Let's see, up the first overlook is one mile, the second one is 1.8. After continuing our scenic drive through Canyonlands, we made our next stop at Upheaval Dome, which is only 0.6 miles to the first overlook. A short but steep trail leads to a clear view into Upheaval Dome. Exhibits at the end of the trail discuss this unique geologic feature. There is a 100 foot elevation gain to start the hike. Hiking to the second overlook adds an additional 1 mile and 50 feet of elevation gain to your journey, but the views in the end are well worth the extra effort. Over there. I don't know what that is. This is beautiful. Starting to get windy. Wow. <laughs> Made it to the top. First overlook. Second overlook. I know, this is awesome. This trail is simply amazing. 
really stunning views a bunch of different colors and stuff it's, it's incredible oh wow look at this you got these beautiful purple color over here and then the uh the nice red over here a bunch of different nice wildflowers All right guys, there's the final dome. We have to ascend to our second and final overlook. All right guys, we made it to the top. The second and final overlook on this trail. You can get a really nice view of those green mounds over there. was definitely worth the hike. After our exhilarating hike to Upheaval Dome, we then travel to the Island in the Sky Visitor Center. This visitor center is open year-round, seven days a week, with some closed days in the winter. Some features include exhibits, books and maps, a picnic area, general information, wireless internet, as well as informative park rangers on duty. You can also watch a park orientation video. Water is available at the visitor center year-round and hours may vary depending on the season. After an action-packed day within Canyonlands National Park, it was time to get some dinner within Moab. Alright guys, we're going to go get some dinner in downtown Moab. Yeah.
All right, guys, so if you're in Moab, I highly recommend traveling over to, it's called the Hoodoo Hotel. There's a restaurant here called Josie Wyatt's Grill. It's really amazing. And now we're gonna go and walk back to the hotel, do a little swimming, and kind of relax for the evening because we visited two major parks today. And we kind of just want to take it easy and relax, so maybe we'll walk around here, stop in a few souvenir shops, and see what they have to offer. Thank you all for watching today's video in Canyonlands National Park, and stay tuned for more adventures coming soon.